Good morning, friends. Uh, this week began with Memorial Day, and uh, we started the week honoring the brave men and women of our armed forces who, over the course of the centuries of American history, have given their lives that we might enjoy the freedoms we have. So this week we've been talking about hope, we've been talking about death, we've been talking about eternity. As a minister and as a pastor, it's been my responsibility to um, be, the, be the minister who speaks at many memorial services. And I've uh, had the responsibility to officiate at the deaths of children, of uh, persons who are teenagers, uh, elderly persons, persons who are in their 30s and 40s. Death seems to be irrespective of one's age. I've thought a lot about uh, death and about eternal life that Christ offers us. One of my very favorite pictures of, um, of how Christians faith face death is a story told by Joe Bailey, a Christian writer. Uh, he and his wife had three boys, and they, they all three of the boys died within a short time of one another, even though their ages were widely apart. Their 17-year-old son was killed in an auto accident. Sometime after that, their five-year-old boy died of leukemia. And then uh, a, a third child died shortly after birth. Joe Bailey, as a Christian, set out to write about what had happened and how he had processed the awful emotions, the, the grief-stricken emotions that come with death. And in the very last page of his book on grief and dying, he tells a story about the time in the middle of a January winter in the Chicago rural area. He had been in his living room and looked out the uh, picture window and saw a mailman coming down the road in his mail truck. And when the mailman reached his box out on the road, Joe Bailey said, I uh, opened the door and went out in my shirt sleeves to run quickly and get the mail. So when I put my hand into the mailbox, uh, there was the usual parcel of letters, but with it there was a burpee seed catalog. He said, as I looked at that catalog, I saw bright zinnias on the cover and tomatoes on the back, and I held it and I leafed through it, and I saw the flowers and the fruits, and smelled the promised springtime. I was oblivious to the cold, but after a while the cold penetrated my bones and I went back inside the house. He said, after I'd been in the house a while, I reflected on that moment and I realized that Christians are like non-Christians in the sense that in times of grief we both feel the cold, but as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ in our cold time, we have a catalog, a seed catalog. It's called the Bible. And we open it and smell the promised springtime, life eternal. And our hearts are filled with hope because Jesus has given us the picture of what is yet to be. I trust today that you in your own life are a person possessed by that hope.